Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a puzzle which is called uh, Sandwich Sudoku. So it has rules like uh, first normal Sudoku that you have to place the numbers one to line in each row, each column, and each three by three grid. Apart from that, uh, that uh, the numbers are given at the end of each row and each column. That means that this number tells you the sum of the digits. Placed between one and nine in that row or column. Okay, so uh, if it is written as sixteen, so wherever one and nine are present, between them the sum of the digits is sixteen. Other digits that are used. Okay, uh, if it is uh, it is eight, so that means between one and uh, one and nine, the sum of digits will be eight. Now it could be single eight, it could be three plus five, it could be two plus six, and so on. Okay, so likewise we have. now before we solve this puzzle the there are two things to keep in mind one thing is very simple that if it is zero right so uh, you know what does it mean that 1 and 9 are adjacent right if it is zero that means adjacent so we should always solve number puzzles based on extreme things right one is zero and what could be the maximum sum what could be the maximum sum of digits so we have one And we have nine. Between we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, what is the sum of these digits? Ten, ten, twenty, thirty, thirty-five. So maximum sum is thirty-five. So keep in mind zero. Zero will help us solve because that one and nine will be together, and thirty-five is the maximum sum. So if we have a large number like here, we have thirty-three. Okay, what does thirty-three mean that? Between one and nine, we will have all digits except two. Okay, two will be outside uh, one and nine, and all others will be there because total sum is thirty-five. And if we remove two, it becomes thirty-three. So all digits like three, four, five, six, seven, eight will be present between one and nine. Okay, so that's how we are going to solve it. Okay, so let us look at the numbers that are given to us. One can we fill twenty-eight? We cannot fill as of now. uh 1 and 0 uh, right 0 means adjacent now we cannot have 9 this side so we will have 9 this side okay first question we can answer what digit at the center of the grid that is 9 easy question okay then we have uh 1 and 9 the difference is 2 so that means we will have 2 here so we'll knock off this right okay now let us look at column wise 16 can we find the numbers no 33 okay 33 will come to it later uh 6 we cannot find 8 the difference is 8 so 9 and 1 only digit possible is 8 okay 1 and 9 15 we will find out uh 1 and 9 5 okay now uh we'll find out that where will we put 5 and uh, like how do we put 5 okay Uh, now if you see 5 5 is what 5 is either 2 plus 3 or it is direct 5 isn't it either we will have 5 in between or we have 2 plus 3 in between right two ways now can we put 2 plus 3 and then 1 here not possible can we have 2 plus 3 and 1 not possible so 2 plus 3 is not the solution it has to be 5 in between now we cannot have 5 this side we will have 5 this side and we will have 1 so this is also done okay now if we are filling one particular column we will have to see the row also so we filled this now the difference is the uh, sum of digits is zero so that means 1 and 9 are adjacent okay adjacent we cannot put 9 here because 9 is already present in this grid so 9 will come here okay now we we have to fill uh we have to fill 15 between them okay 1 and 9 we know 1 and 9 we have to fill 15 between these two numbers Now two is already there. We have to fill thirteen. Thirteen is what? Eight plus five or seven plus six. Okay. Eight cannot come here. Eight cannot come here. So eight plus five is not possible. We have to fill seven plus six. Now seven cannot come here. So six will come here. Seven will come here. So we will knock off this number so that we have filled this sum in between. Okay. all right so can we fill anything else i think we have filled this number uh, the numbers which were directly visible to us right so 
always we should look for extreme things now let us look at this 33 right what did i tell you about 33 that it will include all digits except 2 so 2 will be outside 1 and 9 will be present along with all these digits in between in any order okay so we will have two possibilities one is either we will have two here and then we have one and nine in these two positions right or the second possibility is we will have two here and we will have one and nine in these two positions okay all right so let us try with this first possibility is it possible in the first case the one and nine are both present here so we cannot have any of one or nine here so the first case that we were assuming is incorrect so this means we will have two here okay and one and nine will come in these two positions okay we cannot have one or nine here so we will have two here and one and nine in these two positions now one is present here so that means nine will come here and one shall come here okay so we now filled these two now we will fill the corresponding rows also now zero that means one and nine are adjacent one is present here we cannot have one here so we will have one this side this is done between 1 and 9 the difference the sum of the digits is 4 okay this side it is already 8 so that means we will have 4 here and then 9 so this is done okay between 1 and 9 we have 6 okay 6 can be possible how either it is 2 plus 4 or it is simply 6 there are two possible ways to put 6 okay either we can have the two digits uh, 2 and 4 that add to 6 or we simply have 6 now if we have uh, if we have 2 plus 4 2 is not possible here 2 is not possible here okay so we cannot have this option we'll have to put 6 we cannot have 6 down we will have 6 up and then we will have 1 here okay so that is done uh, now 0 that means 1 and 9 are adjacent so we will have 9 here see how easily are we able to fill now now 1 and 9 the sum of digits is 16 okay 8 is already present here the remaining 2 should add up to 8 so that is 2 plus 6 or 3 plus 5 okay uh, we cannot have um, 6 2 plus 6 is also possible 3 plus 5 is also possible so let us put it on hold as of now let us look at some more uh, rows we which we intend to so let us look at this column one is present nine is not present right so six is either two plus four or six right six is either two plus four or it is six okay now we cannot have two plus four because four is already present here so again we will take six in between and we shall have nine here okay so this is also done now in this case we have 16 16 now one cannot come this side one has to come somewhere this side and we will have 16 so we cannot tell the number of digits as of now okay uh, but let's uh, let us see some more things this 15 is done 8 is done 1 and 9 uh, okay so let us look one thing right 1 and 9 are present here okay 1 and 9 are present here so 1 and 9 cannot come in these two places 1 and 9 are present here they cannot come in these two places 1 and 9 are present here they cannot come in this position so that means these two are 1 and 9 see we have 0 as a difference that means they are consecutive okay adjacent 1 and 9 now if you look at this this gives 0 that means 1 and 9 are adjacent in this also now 1 and 9 are adjacent we cannot have 1 and 9 like this because if we put 1 here 9 is here we cannot have 9 here also so that means the second digit should be here now look at this row we already have 9 here okay so 9 here that means we cannot have 9 here we should have 1 here so this helps us fill these numbers this will be 1 this will be 9 and this will be 1 1 okay, 9 and 1 so this 0 is also taken care of this 0 is also taken care of okay now we have uh, 3 in between okay we cannot have 3 like 3 and then 9 because 9 is already present here okay so we shall have 3 
and we shall have nine like this so this three is also done okay uh, we have to fill 28 right total is total we know is 35 28 are some of these digits so 35 minus 28 is 7 so 7 will come outside right this is also done now we have uh, this 28 is also done we have to fill this 16 and we have to look at this 16 and 33 okay now we will fill that so 16 is 4 is already present we have to fill these this plus this should be 12 now how can we have 12 we can have 8 plus 4 we can have 7 plus 5 as 12 okay now 8 plus 4 is not possible because 4 is already present here we cannot have 4 again okay so we will have 7 plus 5 now 5 is present here right so we will have 7 here and 7 is present here so we will have 5 here so this is also done okay now we have 16 here uh, and we took two possibilities for this right so 2 plus 6 or 3 plus 5 because 8 is present we have to fill 8 more now 3 and 5 are already present here so that means we will have 2 plus 6 2 cannot come here so 6 will come here and 2 will come here okay so i think we have placed all 1 and 9 right these digits we can fill because we have to fill in some order we will be able to fill because we filled two outside and rest we can fill okay so we have placed all 1 and 9 now it becomes a proper sudoku problem and it looks to be a very easy sudoku problem because you see that most of the grid has been filled okay so now we can quickly fill the remaining numbers so let us see this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 is missing so we will have 8 here okay uh, then we can have this column uh, 1 2 3 5 and 7 3 5 and 7 are missing not able to fill now okay so let us see this this row 1 2 3 <coughs> 2 and 3 are missing okay so 3 is present here so we will have 2 here and 3 here so likewise the the normal way we fill sudo will fill this quickly okay so 1 2 3 4 5 and 7 are missing 4 cannot come here so 4 has to come somewhere here okay so let us look at this column 1 2 3 4 is missing and then 8 is missing 4 and 8 8 is present here so we will have 4 here we will have 8 here okay now we have uh, 2 missing and uh, 7 missing so 7 is present here we will have 2 here and 7 here okay so like this we can keep filling the values now in this column we have 1 2 3 4 5 is missing and 6 is missing 5 and 6 are missing 6 is present here so we will have 5 here we will have 6 here so like this <coughs> we'll keep filling 1 2 3 is missing and uh, 5 is missing 3 and 5 so let us put on hold 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 and uh, 7, 4 and 7 cannot be filled as of now, okay, so let's see some other uh, row, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are missing, so 4 cannot come here, okay, and uh, 3 cannot come here. let's see some other uh, other ones one two three then we have five three five seven okay seven cannot come here five cannot come five cannot come here mm. let's see some others then One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Five, seven, eight is missing. Seven cannot come here. Seven cannot come here. So seven will come here. Okay. Then five and eight are pending. Uh, we cannot have eight here. We will have five here. We will have eight here. One, two, three, uh, five, and six are missing. Six cannot come here. Five cannot come here. So five will come here. And then we have 3 and 6 missing. 6 cannot come here. 3 will come here. 6 will come here. 
okay now uh, 3 and 5 are missing here so 3 will come here 5 will come here okay now we have 2 4 and 7 4 cannot come in these two places so 4 will come here 2 and 7 7 will come here 2 will come here okay uh, now we have 1 2 3 4 and 5 3 4 and 5 are missing 4 cannot come in the here here so 4 will come here okay and uh, 3 and 5 3 is already here so 5 will be here and 3 will be here okay uh, now we have one digit missing 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 that was missing we have 1 2 3 5 and 7 missing so 3 is here so it cannot here come here 5 and 7, 7 will come here, 5 will come here, okay. Now 1, 2, 3, 4 uh, and 7, okay, so we will have 7 here, uh, 4 here and 7 here. 1, 2, 3, 4 uh, and 6, 8, 3, 4, 6, 8. So 6, 8 have to come here, so 8 cannot come here, 6, 8 and we have 3 and 4. So 3 comes here, so 3 will come here, 4 will come here. Okay, so now we can simply fill this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6 is missing, so 6 will come here. We have 2, 4. 2 cannot come here, 2 cannot come here, so 2 will come here. 4, uh, 4 cannot come here, 4 cannot come here, 4 will come here. 5 is missing, so 5 will come in this row. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 was missing, so 8 will come here so this will complete the sudoku right so normal sudoku plus given this uh, this special conditions okay so we have filled this now we can answer the questions the first question is which we already filled in the beginning what is the sum of the first three numbers in the first co column right so first column first three numbers 4 7 and 8 so the sum is 19 how many digits are between 1 and 9 in the third row so in the third row we have three digits in between what digit is at the last column of the last row so last column of the last row we have eight so that is the answer to the questions associated with this puzzle